shit, my fault. I'm a savage when it comes to this fucking candy, bro. I got a, I got a real bad habit. Said on Monday is giving U.S. federal agencies 30 days to delete TikTok from all government issued mobile devices. The reason because they're concerned that TikTok parent company ByteDance give user data such as browse history and location to the Chinese government to push propaganda and misinformation on its behalf. You know one thing I hate? I hate when the government acts like they really care like what's best for us. Is if like yeah. we take our data. Real nigga shit. The shit they just read. The same. The government is doing the same exact thing, bro. Yo, what's that movie? I watched. It's a movie. I can't think of it. It's about uh, a guy who used to work for the government. And he found out that the government was watching us. Like, when this camera... Like, for example, I turn all this shit off. Hopefully, one of you guys know it in the comments. If I turn this camera off right here, or my laptop... Let's just say my laptop is off, but I have it open. They can still... The government can still come through and still watch everything, every single thing I'm doing. Even though the computer's off. Bro, I just ate that like a savage. Pure fuck room. Well... Government do the same shit. They just don't like when other well, when other governments do it to the U.S. government, so to speak. False propaganda. <laughs> Come on. Data right now, and they push their propaganda on us. Like that's literally. What yeah, they do. but you don't want. I don't want nobody to do that. I don't care. I don't exactly. care. Exactly. U.S. propaganda or Chinese propaganda. I don't care. Nah, but I don't care, bro. You you don't want Chinese propaganda. I don't want no propaganda. No, you you had to subscribe to America, but you live here, so you have to. I ain't got to. No, you I have, ain't to. have to. No, yeah, yeah. I do not have to you subscribe have to. to. Yes, you live here, my nigga. Propaganda. Where can you go where you're not gonna see advertisements? Where can you go where the government can't? Do I know, but I don't. I'm saying I don't have to subscribe to. I don't have to like. It's not like I don't have to like just sit here and accept the fact that it's getting forced down my throat. Okay, I get Pause. that, but communism will be a lot worse. Just way worse. Objectively worse. Getting like a social score, and then now you can't take the train because your score is too low because you done swore too many times in the video. Oh, like, it's a different type of life over there, man. On Tuesday, the House on Foreign Affairs Committee was expected to move forward with a bill that was provided by Joe Biden. Shout out to the press. <laughs> the authorization to ban TikTok for all U.S. devices. That's an estimated 130 million uh, users. A ban will require passage by the uh, full House and Senate before the president can sign it into law. Okay, I, I personally just don't like the idea that the reason why they're doing it is the best benefit of us. I just, I know for a fact, the, the um, what is it called? They're not Bro, doing they're, they're that voting, the voting is about to happen next year. The, the presidential campaign is happening next year. I already know for a fact they're trying to get ahead of the fact that, yeah, probably there will be some outside that may be manipulating the results, or at least, not the results, but skewing propaganda that can help one side or another. And they're just trying to get ahead of that. That's it. You don't, but I don't want you to tell me about no. all these other things that's going on. That's what it is, dog. They're gonna lose votes by banning TikTok. They're gonna lose for sure. votes because people love TikTok. But if the if, if both House and Senate has to come to together and like both okay it before he can sign it, that means that both Democrat and Republicans have to okay it as well. No, okay, so it's different. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for themselves. Like, exactly. That's what I'm Amer saying. American power is like you think it's a layup. Like you think this is just the way it's supposed to be. It's not. At any point, any other country can become the new number one. For and sure. so. America has began to lose sight of that, and China has swept in and began to maintain their influence in some very sneaky ways. And I low-key kind of fucking respect it, okay? But <laughs> okay. the okay. amount of data, if you, it doesn't take much, it doesn't take you much to realize the amount of data they can track on your phone just by having the app downloaded is fucking mind blowing. So they actually, um, the TikTok got, uh, they got hit with, um, by the Australian government because they openly admitted, like, yeah, we got, we had your data. Oh, yeah, yeah, we was mining that. We was, we Yo, <clears throat> I don't get it, bro. I think it's because it's China, and China is so advanced that people have a problem with it. And China's becoming a superpower, or like one of the. It's always been a superpower, but like, I don't get it, bro. Like governments have been doing this, bro. It's not one government that is not watching every single thing you do, my nigga. Like, let's keep it a beam. Literally, America has sold our rights as far as like data and data mining and all that to other countries before. Like, look this shit up. This shit is there. Let me chill before niggas come and and smoke my boots. But bro, this is public information, bro. Take. The same phone that they're tracking you on, you can look up exactly what they're doing. Bro, it's a fact, bro. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Go look, bro. The waves is spinning. Gangster, bro. Shish. I didn't even brush my shit. I'm gonna brush it after this. But, come on, man. I just feel like, I just think, <clears throat> again, America doesn't like it when other governments do it to them. Or to their citizens or whatever. The, I don't know. 
or they just feel as though like they're they're losing power as far as being the the superpower like he just said like the number one country type shit i don't know it's weird. You though. Got the your data is very on. valuable, and most people, especially in this country, don't care about what happens to the data, how it's no, sold sure. or whatever. Most people don't give a fuck. They're like, how does that affect me? Yo, and if you can't, those little shits when you uh when it's like when you update your phone and they ask you to agree, or like at the end of the shit they ask you to agree. Everybody don't read that shit, bro. You would be telling them niggas, I agree. I, I, it's okay if you take my social <laughs> my social security card and make another person. It's okay if you when I die you. Take my DNA and clone me or some sh- You know what I'm saying? Like, hypotheticals, obviously. But, bro, it's in the, it should be in the fine print. We don't read no more. I'm one of those people. When that shit come up on my phone, I'm not even going to say in Jack that I do read that shit. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Most people don't. <clears throat> and see why government agencies knowing your data, your every move, your keystrokes, where you're at, your location, what you type, what you like, as valuable, if they know the psychography, every single American, you don't think they can use that to influence certain things this way or that way? Of course mm-hmm. they can. But they Look, do that in America. That's a fact. That's my, my bro, only problem. Bro, you're missing the point, they do that They've been doing that. You're missing bro. the point. You don't want other countries to Other countries to want... influence, exactly. You don't want other, that's why I was saying like America doesn't want that shit because now other countries starting to influence how Americans think. Now, it, like, if for those people who, like, diehard American fans or just diehard, like, uh, America always right, ah, it's the best country in the nation. Once, if you get, like, another outside country like, starting putting your ear, like, man, maybe America isn't so treasonous. Possible could cause an uproar, or rebellion, as far as Let's say, let's say, for example, China, like the, on TikTok, China start feeding us the algorithms of all the sick, crazy shit that's truthful about what America does. Like, America does it in a way where it's kind of like, oh, that happened so long ago. Like, we're so much further past that prime example of slavery. Let's just get that one. They t- try to pretend that slavery happened so fucking long ago. You should get over it. Like, it happened so long ago. It was 1800s or, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that whole time. It really wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? When it, like even the way that they go about as far as implementing the, the 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 imagery of slavery, the commercials or the imagery as far as like black and white. No, this was this was during when when TVs were colored. This was you know what I'm saying? But when you make it black and white, it makes it seem like it was ages ago. You know what I'm saying? So that's another example. Uh like I prime example, TikTok just just a couple of hours ago while I was at work, these niggas had uh, a nine eleven conspiracy came in and it was like it was basically like uh how the government lost the trip like how the government made it like lost a trillion dollars and then how they like tried to like 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 finesse it like how was the government gonna because ex- apparently the government had lost trillions of dollars of American of, of America's money before before 9-11 and in order to get the people's eyes off of that 9-11 based this conspiracy well we well mm, 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 but uh what happened was 9-11 didn't happen and then that created that now like kind of took people's mindset off of all the trillion dollars over here that was lost of our money uh we got to focus on all of the the people that were going in such a tragic uh terroristic attack on our nation you know what i'm saying on the soil and all you know you know I know yeah, yeah, I don't, just ramble, I don't but yeah, what you I'm get saying it. is they already do it in America. They're supposed so to. I don't I don't I don't want <laughs> I don't want nobody to. doing it, period, nigga. Okay, well, that's not realistic. You have to live off the grid. Hey, hey, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> well, how you gonna watch your basketball games off the grid, champ? Uh illegally. We got him. <laughs> Annoyed by ads in front of every video? We got him. You can block those ads with the ad block three sixty uh, browser. The cap. You know what I'm saying even the NBA deals with those pressures. We already know the country they got to bow down to. We know. Yeah. We know. We've seen it. But I'm saying like TikTok should have been banned for the same reason Huawei was packed up. You cannot let another country add their technology, their business, and their influences to the point where it's swaying. It, it, it's 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 a national emergency risk. That's what this is. I'm not even a government ass type of nigga, but we know the app spies on you. But for a second, fuck security. I just think the app is dog shit for human beings in general. <laughs> okay, yo, I've been so- on. I've been on a couple dates recently where they couldn't even run through a movie, and I didn't even realize this was a thing. I, but like, I, I had to, I deleted, I didn't I deleted, know this, bro. I deleted TikTok. I, Yo, I, I was mid, like like earlier this week or maybe late like last week. I looked at it, and then I remember me um watching after I got done watching TikTok, I watched like two YouTube videos. 
And I was like, man, what's taking so long on this video, man? I was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong? Because you're so used to swiping, swiping, swiping. And it's not like a thought. Like, scientifically, you getting used to instant gratification every 15 seconds. Like, you can't even wait for a buildup no more. There's going to be no such thing as a three-hour movie, two-and-a-half-hour movie. Niggas, it's going to have to be fast, fast, fast. Because there's an entire generation of people that didn't learn about. They grew up on technology that rewards them instantly all the time. TikTok, I swear to God, I genuinely believe has damaged the attention spans and focus of so many fucking people that it's it's borderline its own pandemic and i know that sounds Man. dramatic but just what's the end of that in general i get what he's saying though tiktok kind of took us to another level bro as the shit progresses this shit is gonna just like either get worse or get better bro people attention spans have been depleting since the birth of the internet so it's kind of bro I take it with a grain of salt, man. There's going to always be something that comes out that's newer and that has people, the kids' attention more and more and more and more. Like, you feel me? It's just a matter of how do you raise, like, how do you raise the kids in this generation? Or, like, how do you kind of, like, keep them a little bit focused or strained from being on this kind of shit that often? Man, come on, man. Everybody has their, you know what I'm saying? TikTok is addicted. All the ways in which that can hurt a society. Yeah. Yo, bro, like, if you can't even focus on a task for a handful of seconds, what use are you gonna be to your family? But no, I I know that sounds super dramatic, but I swear to God, it it just saddens me a little bit when I see people like that because I think to myself, like, another thing too, the kid, like the people around my age demographic, like, and like agent and my son right here, like, I feel like we're the cutoff for like, we were at that, we're we, okay. We were at the beginning of the birth of the internet, so we kind of molded the internet to what it is now. The kids under us didn't know what it was like to, like, we were the kids that were kind of, like, in between, like, we were still going outside, like, the games and shit were kind of, like, progressing and getting better, graphics and everything-wise, but, like, we were the ones that were kind of, like, more, we were still heavy outside, we had to have imaginations, we had to go outside to play and do all this shit. You feel me? And then every now and then you catch the game, you know what I'm saying? Play the game or two, whatever the case may be. But now, like, then as we started getting a little bit older, then the game started progressively getting better. And then as we kind of stopped going outside as much, we still go outside, obviously. But it just wasn't like all day, every day like we were before. And then, you know, shit just started getting, I ain't going to say life started getting more dangerous. But, you know, people start, things start, the neighborhoods and everything start changing, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of like. That's how we grew up. Now it's kind of like the internet is so big and so vast to the point where information is just thrown at you. Like before we kind of like have to go look for it. Now, like as soon as you open your phone, there's an article about this, there's that, there's CNN, there's all these different outlets and shit like that. So the kids kind of got a little different now. It's just so much in their face. So it's kind of hard for them not to, you feel me? Not to engage, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, it is, it is a little bad. Uh... But it's good too. It's some good to it too. Like it, it just all depends on how you use the shit, man. That's really all I gotta say about this. I'm not gonna sit here and cipher through this whole shit. But that's just kind of how I feel about the situation. Uh, yeah, man. Keep and take your phone. Delete the delete apps after a couple. Like you know what I'm saying. After a long period of time, go like a couple weeks, then build up to a couple months. Just cleansing your your mind. Go read a book. Go do something else. Don't don't sit on here all day, man. This shit'll rot your brain. I sound old as hell saying that shit too.